What's up guys, welcome back. I have just landed in Los Angeles, California. I'm still at LAX International Airport and this is the Rotiform Challenge Accepted Trip. I still have no idea what I'm doing here. I've got a little bit of an idea, but I am tasked with calling or texting Carl Taylor from Rotiform for my next instructions. I don't know if somebody's picking me up here at the airport or what the deal is. So we're gonna text Carl and we're gonna see what comes back. So Carl has left a car here. I thought they'd be coming to pick me up, but he's left the car here in Terminal 2. So I'm gonna take a walk through, uh, wait for him to send me a photo of the car. I have no idea what he left, um, but I've got some coordinates and it's apparently some money to get me out of the parking garage and enough money to go get in and out, <laughs> which is amazing. So trip's not starting off so bad. So we'll see how it goes once I get to the parking garage and see what car I'm gonna be driving. Great. <laughs> you just sent me a photo of the car. It looks like it's a newer Camry. Nothing fun, but at least we got wheels. So, and at least we'll get in and out here pretty soon. Still need to figure out what the plan for the day is today since Carl doesn't need me today. I might meet up with my friend Alex Bermudez, uh, who you guys saw me drive cross country with in the Q45. So I might try to meet up with Alex and maybe ride. It's not too hot today. It's not supposed to get too brutally hot. So we might ride today. In and out will definitely happen and might meet up with a few more friends. Might swing by AEM Intakes, might try to see Chris and put a face to the name there and hang out with those guys. You know how many black Camrys are probably in this parking garage? So many, so many black Camrys. Okay, so that's the photo that Carl sent me, but I have a feeling like it's this car. Yeah, I have a feeling like, I have a feeling like this is the car. Now to find the keys without making it look like I'm stealing it. I'm glad I brought my bike and lots of big cases to fit in this tiny little thing. Here we go. <laughs> so we have a problem. That's it? That's the space? I actually don't know if I can fit my bike in here. Oh no. I'm glad he left me a packing blanket. <laughs> There's no room for that. Okay, so I was able to get the factory parcel shelf, which is like a two-piece parcel shelf, out and underneath the packing blanket. Now, I think I can fit my bike without the front wheel on in this car, no problem, but not inside the bike bag. So the bike bag has to sit up and over this built-in strut bar and between the two seats. And this is actually pretty big. This probably looks pretty small on camera, but I don't think I've got enough room to fit that underneath the bike bag and then the bike bag on top of it. So this might have to ride literally in the front seat with my backpack. Also, he left some goodies. Monster Energy, Monster Juice, and the Rotiform IPA. But he already knows I don't drink. So someone will get a chance to enjoy that. 
And now to cram all this stuff in. I just, I'm hungry. I want to go to In-N-Out. This is completely dulling my first experience driving a new Supra. <laughs> Well, we cut that pretty close. Seriously, we're going in and out. I need it now. All right. Awesome. Now let's enjoy this car. Well, as if, as if all of these tiny little variables are challenges, I went to look for the parking ticket under the mat and it wasn't there. And apparently some money for the parking ticket and in and out Then I went back to the text and I read the text closer and realized it's under the mat in the trunk, which now had the parcel shelf folded up, the packing blanket, my helmet, cans, and my bike bag on top of it. So I took everything out, <laughs> got under the floor mat, and uh, got the parking ticket and a $20 bill. So thanks, Carl. I am going to get out of here and go to In-N-Out and find out what is going on the rest of the day. trying to work this screen out and there's a volume and power button right there guys I don't have new cars I don't drive new cars all my stuff's old and rusty <laughs> I don't even know what I'm gonna do in this thing well scratched scratch that in and out off the list that was insane for how long I waited to get out of that parking garage I wasn't gonna wait at uh, that in and out for another two hours so I'm headed up to Santa Monica right now, uh, going to go to an In-N-Out between Marina Del Rey and Santa Monica, and then meet up with my good friend Tim uh, for a coffee. He insists on Duncan, but we'll try to go somewhere that's a little bit more indigenous to the area. And then Alex is gonna meet me in Santa Monica. We might ride the Santa Monica skate park or just some spots in that area. So it's only 70 degrees here today. It's unreal because it's been brutally hot out here the last couple weeks, like record breaking hot. All right, in and out number two. We're up in Santa Monica now. Uh, in the drive-thru, already ordered, so hopefully this won't take too long. I am starving. All right, so we met up with my good friend Alex, and he immediately has the root beers. And I got those vintage root beer bottles. I got three of the Monterey. Yeah, they're all wrapped up in here, oh, along with an extra fanny cue for that. Dang. Whatever it is, G45. Yeah, I'll put it in the trunk here once we get the bikes out. So I've got Rat Bastard, but a different logo. So that's actually really cool. As you guys know, I collect root beer bottles. So that is huge. So we met up with Alex and my good friend, Tim White. Uh, Tim's from the East Coast originally. And we played music together. Uh, indie rock band bros. And um, we just met up at a Dunkin' Donuts because he insisted on going to one out here. What was that? I'm just tagging along now. <laughs> Tim doesn't ride, but he lives in the area, so we're hanging out. Yeah, ride <laughs> Alex was one of my team managers for one of the companies I rode four years ago. I've kind of mentioned that a few times before. Uh, so we actually are down the street from a famous skate spot here in Santa Monica. So we're going to put my bike together, make sure I still have enough room for everything in the Supra. Yeah and uh, take advantage of this beautiful weather. It, in Santa Monica, it's not that bad. It's like mid 70, 70 or so right now, and it's really not bad at all. So the boys at Rotiform, Jason and all those guys, put together an IPA. And since I don't drink, oh, I wanted someone else to enjoy it. So I always give one can to Tim and follow up with him, see if he likes yeah. it. And this, what's hilarious is, this is Jason, I'm pretty sure that's Jason Whipple on the cover there. They have their own little IPA in there? Yeah, they're doing all sorts of crazy they're stuff. Yeah, they're doing big things, us too. Yeah. Very cool. Hilarious. If I only drink. Yeah, neither of us do. Yeah. <laughs> we get the bikes built, and we are at the Santa Monica OG Courthouse skate spot. And this spot is unbelievable.
You guys have definitely seen clips here. The big stage over here, the Skittles style, uh, wedges all in a row. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird. Oh, that was it. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> Fucking A. <laughs> Take it. That was it. That was it. <laughs> Sick. Almost did it first try. <laughs> Hell yeah. Almost. <laughs> B roll. All right, guys, that's it for this spot in Santa Monica. We've got a few clips. Alex stepped it up. I'm somehow riding uh, fluently, which is crazy because as you guys know, I got up at 1.30 this morning on very, very little sleep. Hour drive to the bus station, an hour and a half ride to Logan, six hour flight here, hanging in the sun. Got some clips out. Some clips I'm actually really stoked on, like the, the Hop to Hang 5, the Drop Smith. I appreciate that, man. Uh, Alex was working hard. What you didn't see were all the tries I was just putting in on the crank arm grind to 180. That was pretty challenging. You got that. Out. Took a lot of tries for some reason. You got it done, though. And uh, oh, the Smith grind to drop manual to feeble to hang five. That was awesome, stoked on that awesome, one, too. Um, yeah, just a few quick clips at a legendary spot here in Santa Monica. Another big shout out to my friend Chris Rubo who TIG welded my frame up. She's running strong. We already got some street clips on it. No squeaks, no cracks. We're good. So stoked. So stoked to be out here on my frame and not having to have rebuilt my deco frame. Which would have been awesome, but this geometry is just the way I want it. So I'm happy to be out here on that bike. Right. More coffee. Let's do it. Are you ready for this? <laughs> Perfect. You couldn't fit a piece of paper between that. That's like your Corvair, dude. Wow. That's like the wheel fitment on the Supra. <clears throat> so we're at the hotel, Alex and I. We just hammered down the 405 into Long Beach. We're waiting on Carl Taylor now. Uh, he's got to get me checked into the hotel uh, since he did all the booking. All this time you've been talking about a RAV4. I didn't know you What's actually up, had a RAV4. <laughs> How are you? How's it going, man? Good, Good to see you? you. Good to see you, man. It's just part of our little deal with Toyota Escondido. Oh, that's really cool. So they gave us this, that one, yeah. and a Tundra. All right, that's the coolest RAV4 I've ever seen. That thing is super fun. It's fun, huh? It's fun. Fucking great. It oh. took me it took me five minutes of sitting in it to figure out how to shut the radio off. <laughs> I just turned the sound off eventually. It's fun on the 405. Yeah, this is uh this is Alex by the way. Alex yeah, this is Carl. Hey nice to nice me. No, whatever. It's all no, it's all B-roll. Oh, the, 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 no, the bikes oh, in that. Okay. You should have yeah. you should have seen no. I I'm glad you put that blanket in there. Yeah. That bike bag went over the strut bar. In, the, where does the shelf go? It's, I folded it up underneath the, the blanket. Oh, that's where, okay. Yeah, I, I, I took it up. I was looking at it, I'm like, nah, I'm just gonna leave the shelf. Oh yeah, it was in the way, for sure. <laughs> is this basically stock under the hood, or have you guys it's, done some no, turbo? It's completely stock. Wow. The whole thing, the, we haven't done anything to it. All we've done is the AWE cat back, which yep. we put on on Friday, and the wheels and tires, that's it. We haven't done an intake or anything yet. Coils? Oh, sorry, and BC coils. BC, I was gonna ask, because this thing rides so good. Yeah. So good. I was meant to tell you about the warning light, like, don't, don't worry about I that. Just say, I, guess, I just kept hitting <laughs> just close keep, message. Yeah, yeah just... exactly. 
I didn't really gun it, but a couple green lights, I goosed it, it pretty hard. And, goes and it gets up and goes. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so Carl just left. We got checked into the hotel, or he got me checked into the hotel. Uh, basically, he switched the hotel on me because his favorite bar is within a stone's throw of the hotel. And I made it clear that I don't like it when he has a beer because when he has a beer at that very bar, he's changing trip plans on me and not telling me. And I have a feeling like things have changed a lot and I don't know anything about what's going on. And I just got a text message from him about our plans for tomorrow. And here's what it says. John, today was the only day I did not have anything planned, so enjoy it. If you want to leave Friday to get home, you best get some work done. Office hours are 9 to 5 p.m. Don't be late. I will email you the hotel information now, which is obviously where we are here. If you need a drink tonight, go to the bikini bar down the street called Sportsman. So apparently I'm going to Rotiform headquarters tomorrow from 9 to 5 to get some work done. <laughs> I don't know what that means. And I need to figure out, LA traffic is bonkers. So I need to figure out when I need to leave to get there in time for nine. Yeah. Uh, so apparently I'm working tomorrow. I wrote a form. I don't know what I'm doing yet. Something tells me it's gonna be stressful. There's a place called Volcano Burgers around the corner that apparently high looks- High reviews on Yelp. High reviews on Yelp. Photos look amazing. So we're gonna head there now. So Alex and I just went and got burgers and found a skate park that was half lit. A gate was locked, but we hopped the fence and put like a 15 or 20 minute session in, just enough to work the burgers down out of our chests, just get the heart rate up a little bit. And uh, we're back at the hotel now. Alex is heading back home. He lives up in the San Fernando Valley area, but at this time of night, uh, there's no traffic, super easy. But that's it for the first episode, guys. I am here in Los Angeles. This is day one of the Rotiform Challenge Accepted trip. I think we're going for a different name. That'll be unveiled here pretty soon. We've been throwing around some other like cool trip name ideas, but right now we're just calling it the Challenge Accepted trip. And uh, huge thanks to Alex for coming out and hanging out. No worries. We got some cool things in the works with him and his rig possibly this week here in LA. Tomorrow, apparently I'm working at Rotiform tomorrow, so. I've got to edit this episode. It's like 11 o'clock at night right now, which is two o'clock in the morning my time. I gotta go upstairs, edit this video, get some sleep. Join me tomorrow, subscribe to the channel, follow along on this trip. This is gonna be nuts. I'm driving home by the, by the end of this and I don't know what vehicle I'm gonna be in. Carl made it pretty clear tonight, it's not the Supra. I'm not gonna be driving the Supra cross country. So, what will I be driving? I don't know. Stay tuned to find out. I will see you guys at Rotiform, at Rotiform headquarters, which will be pretty cool, uh, in the next episode. See you guys then.